This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at multicam editing in Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.1. My name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create a multicam clip using audio syncing. There's multiple ways that we can build a multicam clip that start with very easy but take a little bit of time and become faster but more complex as we go through. For instance, here I have a music video clip. Now the music video clip has a singer and we've got three angles on her. We've got a side camera left, a side camera right, and a center camera where it's basically covering all the action. The audio is recorded on all three cameras. So I select the three cameras that I want to build into a multicam clip, go up to the file menu, go down to new and select multicam clip. Now another option is to simply right mouse click on any of the selected clips and select new multicam clip. Whether you go to the file menu or right mouse click, it takes you to this dialog, which is the automatic sync dialog. And we're going to call this music multiclip. Notice that use audio for synchronization is checked. What that means is, as soon as I click OK, it's going to look at the soundtrack of the three clips and synchronize based on the soundtrack and generate a multicam clip. The good news is this works provided you have audio recorded on all three clips. The bad news is it takes time. This morning in the webinar, one of the people in the audience said that they have an hour and a half show that they synchronize using music, and it takes five to six minutes for that sync to occur. Works great, no problem. I am a big fan of clapper slates. So what I've done with the clapper slate is I've set a marker for that particular point in time where the clapper comes down and I find the exact frame where the clapper slams down and I set a marker. Keyboard shortcut is the letter M. And I set a marker where the clapper slate comes down on each of these three clips. Select the three clips, go up to File, New, Multicam, and this time I use Custom Settings. When I'm customizing my synchronization, I always turn audio off because it takes too long to have it do both audio and custom sync. Angle assembly is automatic. That's going to base it upon camera angle or camera name or the clips. If the angle is blank, it looks at the camera name. If the camera name doesn't have any numbers or letters in it, it just does the order in which you selected the clips. I always leave that on automatic. Clip ordering is going to be based upon either automatic I just or time code or content created. I always leave these top two on automatic because I'm going to shuffle them around later. But angle synchronization, this one, I pay attention to. Automatic is when you want Final Cut to synchronize your clips based upon the audio channel. Timecode is when you have the same timecode on all cameras. For instance, uh, I'll show you an example of this in just a minute. Content created matches the date and time that a clip was created on each of the cameras. The problem is most cameras only record date time plus or minus a second. It's like one second, doesn't record frames. So your sync is going to be off when you use content created, even if you were perfect in setting the date and time settings on your camera. Think of this as getting things close, and then you get to fine tune it in a way that I'll show you in a couple of minutes. If you are somebody that uses favorites, you mark a favorite range. Remember how you set an in, set an out, and click this green star to set a favorite range? If you have created a series of multicam clips using favorite ranges, when you say start of first clip, it will sync all of your clips based upon the start frame of each of the clips, which generally works best when you have a chance to set exactly what that start frame is, which is what the favorite range does. But me, I'm a clapper slate guy. I want to set it based upon the first marker in each clip. And we'll just call this restaurant, restaurant. And watch how fast this occurs. It's done. The audio sync can take 15, 20, 30 seconds, even several minutes. Syncing on, on the first marker is like half a second. Or here, this is the ice capades. This has got matching time code on all four of these angles. We go to file, new, multicam clip, 
sync based upon time code. We'll just leave it untitled because I'm going to erase it. And I can, I mean, the, the clip is synced before I even finish dismissing the dialog box. And there are my ice dance is complete. So whether you decide to sync based upon a clapper slate and setting a marker, matching time code on all the cameras, contents, uh, the creation date, time and date, or you have audio sync, the goal is to get all of these clips related. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at multicam editing inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 124. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership in our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 700 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.